My name is Queen Bless Nebigesen, popularly known as Black Queen. I'm a Hollywood actress and a filmmaker. I've been in the industry for almost 18 years. More brand of car. It was a Toyota, um, and it was a very small, portable Toyota. I, I, I really can't remember what Toyota it was now. It was, you know, the 1990 Bora kind of <laughs> Toyota, but it was useful at that time. Very useful. At least it was better than nothing, right? Mm. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, well, <laughs> Hello, my sweetheart. How are you? Yeah, mommy, you're a ma. Bao Denny, I'm being called. I do everybody well. Okay, without a car, it can't be that easy. Um, the truth is that jumping or kada, keken ape, and buses everywhere, especially when you have to wear your high shoes. You know, um, for me in Hollywood, I was not just an actress. I I was also into modeling into ushering jobs and all. So most of the time, I'll have to wear my six inches, you know, to jump or cut with those very skimpy clothes. It wasn't easy, I must say, but what can we, I mean, everything has a starting point, right? It wasn't easy. I obey it all the time because number one, as a celebrity, you want to lead by example. You want because you might think people are not seeing you when you're, you know, driving. People see you and when you do anything, they want to say, ah, that person, you see, I should not an actress. Why did she do that? So, I mean, I don't want people pointing fingers. So, even if I would have followed some Nigerians to break the rules, because I'm a celebrity, I don't have that luxury, so I obey all the rules all the time. Frank! What? Give me any shepherd. Feel no sorrow. Eat that for Jeffy. Say you want to know what I'm saying. I'm going to say, what is it for you? What is it for you? I think I checked that. Maybe twice a week, twice a week, yes. But you never know when it will happen. I check my engine oil to know if it's still at the level where it should be because my mechanics have taught me how to check all those things. And I also check my radiator to see if the water is okay. And I check my brake oil if it's okay. I think those are the very three important things that I check. Within town, I think I, I usually do 30, 40, sometimes I even do less than 30. But on the express, I do 60 and 80. I, I can do up to 100, but I really don't like doing up to 100. I like my speed limit to be between 60 and 80. It makes me more comfortable. It makes me feel the confidence that I have um, enough time in case of anything to break or to avoid the car behind or the car in front. So for me, I think I don't see where I'm running to. 60, 80 is just good for me. Yes, I've been driving for 17 years. So obviously in a place like Nigeria where everybody drives so close to you, they even want to enter your car when they are driving. I've been in an accident a couple of times, but most of the time I've been hit from behind. I will just quickly share the experience of the very last one, which was um, in 2016, in March. 
I think March 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, I was coming from my area. I was going to location in Ayobo. So as I got to Owode, I turned. There was no car behind me. So there was a car in front of me. I tried to, the car was waiting and flagged for me to wait because there was somebody coming from the other street and the man was carrying iron. So it's like the iron were dragging him back. So as he tried to come, he will move back. So I decided to put my car on neutral and wait patiently so that he can come. The next thing I heard was, bah, at the back. By the time I turned back, I saw that the trailer was still pushing me. So the next thing that came into my mind was to jump out of the car. So to do that, I started struggling to get my seatbelt off me. And as I got the seatbelt off me, I tried to open the door. The door had jammed. So, but with a lot of struggle, I was able to open the door and then I jumped out of the car. But that noise alerted the police. They were on their way. Immediately I rolled on the BRT lane. They took me out of the BRT lane. I couldn't talk for about three hours. I couldn't breathe from my nose because I was breathing from my mouth. And they took me to the hospital. But as God we have it, the only thing I had was a scratch on my leg as I jumped. I was okay because I was well checked at the hospital. And a week later, me and my son, we went to London. I still went to check again to see if I was really okay. And the doctor said, I was okay that the doctor that checked me in Nigeria had did a good job and that I was fine. Wrong you. Eh? Eh? I'm worried. Ah, I'm worried. I'm worried. I think for me it's a no no. Um, like I said earlier, um, I'm not the type that like to show. I like my own space and my own lane. I think for those people that are doing it, there is, there are risks involved. Number one is the fact that your security is already breached because anywhere you're going people will see that plate number and know that yes so 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 person just passed or so so, so person is here so for me i don't think there is any need for you to have a customized plate number what for i mean you want to show people that you have a uh, black queen one black queen two black queen three car who cares if somebody like dan Gute does not have plate number on his cars who the heck are you so i think that for those that are doing that they should just see this video and just stop. If they have it, have it removed and throw it away. You don't really need to show so much. Yes, my vehicle is insured. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just renewed my documents uh, on Monday. Um, insurance is very good. If you do a very good insurance on your car, like comprehensive, for instance, if you have an accident, you don't have a problem with the person that, that hits you, your insurance company will be the ones talking to them. So to avoid all this and begging you and all these kinds of things. I think Nigeria don't respect insurance so much. But I think it's a very good thing for every vehicle to have an insurance. <laughs> Everyone, this is my extra tire. You must have it all the time with you. And you must make sure that your extra tire is in good condition. This is my C caution. This is very important because when you have a flat tire, you need to tell people that something is happening. You need this to call their attention. Okay, so this is my jack. This is my jack. And of course, these are all the go go to go to use them, the jack. Um, once again, my name is Queen Blessing the Biggest in popularly known as Black Queen. Your Nollywood diva, both English and Yoruba would, and all of them are they represent. Um, like I said earlier, it's very key to check the vital parts of your car. Make sure every morning, I do it twice a week, which is even wrong. You should do it every morning. Check your car, check everything, especially your radiator, your brake oil, your gear oil. All those things need to be checked to avoid disasters. So um, it's been me on the show. Don't go nowhere. Keep watching. Auto experts, it's your guide to safety. Don't forget. If it's always, always tuned to that channel when there's a time to watch. <laughs> Ah, 
enjoy that when my family oh ah ah ah. She brought me come across, no reason because no reason because you come over here. I dark when my family oh jo. 